This video explains how to inspect the accessibility tree of the page. Here we begin, but make sure to hit the like button in case you enjoyed, and subscribe to not miss new content. The accessibility tree is a derivative of the DOM, constituting accessibility-related information of elements within the page, and being used by assistive technologies, such as screen readers, voice controls and so on. Knowing that, Puppeteer allows inspecting the accessibility tree through a dedicated object that unsurprisingly called accessibility, which is useful to analyze and test the accessibility support on the page. Note that each page instance exposes its own accessibility object, and that's the way to access the accessibility API. Let's demonstrate how to practically do it. We already mentioned that the page instance exposes its accessibility object. This object owns a method called snapshot, capturing the current state of the accessibility tree, so that the returned object represents the root of the accessible nodes. Let's print the accessibility tree of github.com into a file, using the write file method. Notice we stringify the object and add an indentation, to make it readable. After running the script, the file is created and the output contains the accessible nodes flatly, as direct children of the root. So far we printed the accessibility tree with only the interesting nodes in a flat way, meaning, without keeping the full hierarchy of the tree. Most of the time, the flat tree is what we need, since it represents the filtered tree that most of the assistive technologies use. Sometimes, however, we do want to keep the full tree that the browser engine creates. The way to do it is setting the interesting only option as false, which is true by default. Let's print once again, and now we'll see that the output contains much larger tree, including nodes with generic roles, which represent container elements without any semantic meaning, such as div or span. Note that the assistive technologies usually filter them out, because again, they don't have semantic meaning, and that's why the default value of interesting only option is true. Another default behavior is the root DOM element for taking the snapshot, which is set to the root of the whole page. However, we can modify the root to a child element using the root option, which expects for element handle object. So in our example, we will use the dollar method to select the header element of the page, and notice we use await since the method returns a promise of the element handle. Great, let's run the script one more time, we can see that the output is reduced and truly represents the accessibility tree of the header. Don't forget to hit the like button in case you enjoy, and to subscribe to my channel.